facing your fears. You know, it's human to be afraid of things, to be fearful of things. How do we face our fears as Christians, believers and followers of Jesus Christ? I'd like to talk about this subject today. So fear, as you know, can be disabling. Fear can drive the steadiest, sturdiest person into complete worry and uncertainty. God reminds us through his word that there is nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to fear. There are many kinds of fears, and sometimes we call them phobias. So as a Christian counselor, a lot of times I use the cognitive biblical approach and help people gradually dismantle the false or faulty thinking that they have, which maintains the fears by believing that the worst can and will happen when in many times you know the worst does not happen. So we must start there because you know as a man thinks he is, we must start there and also draw from the word of God and the power of God, that is his Holy Spirit, inside of us. So in my way of thinking and dealing with fear, and I'm encouraging you as well, and it takes work, it's not easy, it's not overnight. It's much better to run towards that which you fear than away from it, especially when it emanates from our thinking. That is, when we have built up worry inside of our head and catastrophized to the point where we're actually disabled in the sense of crippled. We can't move, we can't do anything. So there's a healthy fear, like if you see a lion in a road, don't go over there, right? Most of the time it's not that. And what happens is we're presented with things that build up in our minds. And a lot of times they become social fears. What will they think of me? I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to fail. I don't want to come across as this, that, or the other. And so there's a lot of uh, uh, thinking and, and building inside the head that draws that up. And what it does, it can paralyze a person to not even do, to be afraid, to not even step out. So we have to gradually step out after we've challenged our thinking and then move towards that with what we are afraid of, okay? And see that it doesn't destroy us. The thing that we are afraid of doesn't destroy us. You get in with a group of people. You start to talk a little bit. You observe. You, 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 you take a risk. You say things. And you see that it's not the end of the world. Of course, this is not overnight. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a Christian counselor. This takes work. This takes time. Um, so, and But you get strengthened as you move towards it and you address it. And many times, even as Christians, we fear death and failure. Death. But you know... Where is the sting of death? It's been swallowed up. Jesus Christ, our Savior, rose from the dead. That's right. God the Father lifted him up and resurrected him from the dead, as we will be someday. So, what do we do as believers, even though we know that God loves us, despite our mistakes? And Jesus removes all our fears. So, Another thing about fear that's important to remind you about is, is that fear can cloud judgment, which can lead people to make decisions that they wouldn't make if their minds were more focused and clearer about a given situation. So we need to trust God for the outcome and not worry about what is going to happen in a sense of the catastrophe of it and that his peace will fill us as we move forward in life. So there are scriptures. There are nothing there's nothing more powerful than God Almighty's word, okay? But I did say I did give you a few things about challenging your thinking and seeing what it is you're afraid of. Sometimes people are afraid of disapproval, and disapproval will not kill us. It's it's good to have people's approval, but not at all costs, not at the cost of us changing our behaviors in ways that are not godly or living in crippling fear. What I'm going to leave you with also 
is I'm going to, and it's going to add time to this video, but I'm going to give you many of the scriptures. I'm going to read them, but I'm also going to put them in this um, YouTube, uh, in this video at the bottom of the page. So let me read a few of them, and you be encouraged by them, brothers and sisters. Isaiah 35, 4. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Isaiah 43.1 But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Psalm 23.4 even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 94, 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so I will leave you with that but I will post the rest of them because there are a lot more. But I want to keep these videos short enough so you will re uh, watch them and not uh, have to take a lot of your time. But I believe that this will help you. But just look down below and see the scriptures that I'm going to include. And so I say to you, God bless you.